Jetpacks, Facebook photo albums, and paying with your cell phone without near-field communication technology, today on App Judgment. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by GoDaddy. All right, first up today on App Judgment, an app that turns your iPhone into a jetpack. Not quite, but almost. Mauricio took a look at Jetpack Joyride for iOS from the creators of Fruit Ninja, proving that Half Brick Studios is not just a one-hit wonder factory. This isn't merely a get-as-far-as-you-can reflex game. The unlockables are going to bring you back for a fantastic replay value while avoiding obstacles, dodging missiles, collecting coins, and best of all, playing as someone named Barry Steak Fries. He says, download ASAP. Mauricio also played with Facebook photo album for the iPad. Facebooking scrapbookers will get a kick out of this photo viewer that lays out pictures in a binder array with leather-like trim. The app is free, but additional pages will cost you some in-app purchases. He says download. And finally, Prager went on a field trip to play with Square's new card case app, which allows you to make transactions without cash or credit cards. Your presence is enough. More on that in a sec, but first, let's get social. All right, so the other day we introduced you guys to iTunes Music Match, and it produced some strong reactions in you guys, not so positive. Walter on Facebook argues that it's not quite geeky enough for the geeks, but for the non-techies, it may be a little too complicated. They won't understand it when it is explained, and sure as hell won't pay for it when they don't get it in the first place. Hell, I'm a techie, and I don't quite understand why I should care. My phone carries all the music I want anyway. Sorry, Apple, I can't say don't download because it's not really an app, but I can say definitely don't bother with the iTunes match service. On YouTube, Tanit Kato wants to know, is Apple's cloud service available for non-US users? And unfortunately, it is not. And meanwhile, an Australian viewer comments that this iTunes match stuff sucks for us in Australia as streaming all music will strain our one gig data allowance. Very good point. Many of us who've been streaming quite a bit using radio or Spotify over the past few months have not really even been coming close to the one gig mark, but this could be a huge problem for those of you in Australia. So in a second, we're going to check in with Prager on how to pay without cash or credit cards, just your phone. But first, GoDaddy. Get reliable, secure web hosting without the long-term contract. GoDaddy plans are bigger and better than ever with 99.9% .9 uptime, free 24-7 support, and no annual commitments. And remember, you can download GoDaddy's free iPhone, Android, and BlackBerry apps to manage your domains on the go and much more. Check out revision3.com slash GoDaddy for a list of all the amazing GoDaddy deals from Revision 3. Using the code JUDGE8 will get you 10% off any order. So you might have heard a square that you stick on the top of your phone and allows you to swipe credit cards for you as a merchant to receive payments or just you as an individual to receive payments. Well, the folks at Square came out with a new app called Card Case that allows you as a merchant or as a, or as a customer to make payments from proximity and using GPS. If you're close by, you have the app card case installed and they have the merchant account. All you need to do is start a tab, tell them your name, they see that you're on and they can perform the transaction that way without having to give a card or do anything. It's all proximity based. So we're going to go check out this place near Revision 3 called Stazione, a coffee shop, and see what the experience is like. Card case takes a little setting up, even if you're a previous Square user. Once you sign in, you need to set up tab payments in your account. Set up your user picture, add the credit or debit card you want charged, and enter your PIN, which is... Presto! Payments are enabled. Now in order to find a place that accepts a card case, click on the Explore button and Square will give you nearby businesses that accept this form of payment. Add them to your card case, and then when you're near the vendor, simply start a tab and tell them your name when it's time to ring you up. Payment card tips came in later in the beta when clients realized that despite doing cash and credit card fee transactions, they still had to scrounge up cash for the tip. I think we should leave a tip. We will leave a $3 tip because that's the max it'll let me do. The process is so easy and fun, well, we decided to buy more stuff. Same bag or separate? Uh, same bag. One thing that's cool is it's so easy and organized. You guys had to enter all the inventory that you have so you can say yeah, what it is. But it's so easy to delete or like to change it. Uh -huh. Like we change our drip coffees all the time, so it's really easy to like 
go in here and like take it off or add a new one. Oh, I see. Yeah. That's cool. So there right. it is. Baked cobbler, baked pastry. It's even got a picture of it. So the client side of this whole exchange is easy, but then we check with the owner of the cafe, La Stazione, to see how Square was benefiting him. We, we got involved with uh, Square uh, over a year ago when they just started and they were in beta. And we were just open and we really needed a way to uh, process credit cards because we, we noticed that people would walk away. If we were to go down the road of using a regular uh, credit card processing merchant account, we would have to get equipment uh, that would take up space and we're kind of constrained on space. Uh, they charge two and three quarters of a percent, uh, which is actually really good because it's flat. So uh, Visa, MasterCard or American Express all get charged the same. You talk to most people who process American Express, they'll tell you, oh wow, we pay upwards of 5%. Uh, everybody loves it. People just smile, they go, oh, I never, you know, they giggle. <laughs> oh, we never had to, never seen this before, heard about it. Uh, so yeah, it's it's actually fun to watch people. We don't get tired of yeah, seeing yeah. the reactions. I gotta tell you, I'm a fan. If you can walk into a merchant, like a coffee shop or a restaurant or a bar or wherever, and all you gotta do is just open up your uh, iPhone or your mobile device and just say, uh, accept to a, a payment, uh, and then you just walk on out, and it's that easy for the merchant as well as you just do something without having to like, physically even touch anything other than like the device that they're charging you with. That's pretty awesome, and I would definitely, uh, I would be using it at the vast majority of any merchant who has that as long as it, you know, if I've got the device. So let us know what you think. We'd love to get your thoughts on if this is something you'd use. You can send us a comment at uh, appjudgment at revision3.com. You can find us on Twitter uh, at appjudgment, uh, youtube.com slash appjudgment. So definitely keep the comments coming. Let us know what alternatives you might be using or you know, other apps that you think would do a better job that don't even exist yet. Uh, I'm David Prager and we'll see you later this week.